birthday mark, it was one of those markets that was chosen when Jamaica celebrated 25 years. Over the years, the market has really deteriorated. So what has happened is that we drove the vendors out of the market and the vendors into the streets. I came here when the PNP had control of the municipality back in, in, in early 2016 and committed then to fix the market. But we got a lot of pushback from them because they were, they were never satisfied. They didn't want to do this. Came back a couple of years. Last year was the came with the minister of health. And the end result is that some $19 million has been allocated to undertake renovation, total complete renovation. The roof, the roof was no more good, the sanitary facility was no more existing. So after we have spent that initial injection of $19 million, we're going to be spending an additional $25 million to expand the outer side and to put in proper parking facilities. And something that I've asked the ministry to look at is to put in proper storage facility. Excellent. For the Let, let's look at the, the facility. You know, it's quite sad that this market was developed as a kind of legacy to mark our 25th year of independence, as Minister Mackenzie was explaining. That it has deteriorated to the point where it has to be abandoned is indeed an indictment of all, on all of us, on all governments, as to how markets have been treated with. The markets have to be more than just a shed under which vendors congregate to sell and purchasers walk through. Markets are far more than that these days. These markets, Minister, yes, I, I'm happy that we are going to be making the investments to bring it up to usable form. But I think we need to do more for the markets. We need to turn the market into a place where people come not just to shop, but for leisure, you know, for an experience.